Good morning guys. I'm gonna be taking you guys with me today on a full day of eating, but first things first, we gotta get our morning way in. Well, the scale says 224.9, right? Um, now, I think, I think my scale's tripping, to be honest. Um, it, it's been kind of messing up, like, I have to weigh myself multiple times every day and just kind of, cause like the number keeps changing. Um, so I'm gonna get a new scale, but we're gonna go off of what it said anyways, which was two, 224, 24.9. And so this is basically what I set up here, right? So show day, I got July 15th, currently 23 weeks out. And my goal is to hit 235 pounds by March 26. What I did here is I broke it down by weeks, right? So by February 13th, I should be at 226.4 in order to be on track. And every seven days, it's an increment of 1.4 pounds. Um, and then so what I'm doing here is every single day I'm tracking my weight. Uh, and you can see it's fluctuating a lot, 225.7, 224.1, 225.1, 223.4, 226, 224, right? It's like, it, it's bouncing all over the place. Now, part of it, I think, is the scale. I think my scale is just old and just um, keeps messing up, keeps giving me like a, cause like, for example, like right now, I, I did my weight. So basically, I'll hop off and then I'll hop back on and it'll give me a whole different number. It'll say, right now it's just saying 226.5. Now I get off and it'll say 224.5. And then I get off and then get 224.9. You know what I mean? So it's just been giving me inconsistent weigh-ins. Um, so I'm gonna order a new scale today so I can make sure that I'm staying on track. But the idea here is every time my number goes up and closer to the goal, right? I put a green, I put it in green. So 225.7. Every time my weight goes down, it goes in red, 224.1. And that's kind of just like a reality check for me. If I'm not, if I'm starting to see a lot of red, I know like, hey man, you got to eat more, you know, you can stay on track. It's kind of like a, like an accountability thing for me. Um, what I want to see is all green, you know what I mean? Um, now with that in mind, I have been tracking my macros every day uh, since I started this, and I've been doing 3,800, 3,900 calories a day uh, with 200 grams of protein. Uh, I don't remember my my uh, macros by memory right now, but I'll show you guys what my macros are looking like here in a bit. So I'm gonna go for my walk with my dogs, and then we'll get the day started. Oh, uh, let me give you guys a physique update real quick. So. Like yesterday, I weighed in at 226.1. Remember, at the beginning of this bulk, I was 208 pounds. So we're up to 10, 12, 12 plus 6. We're up almost 18 pounds uh, since yesterday. I mean, today, yeah, 224.9, like 225, yeah, like 17, 18 pounds is what we're up, what we're up since we started this bulk. And we still have seven weeks left of bulk. Um, oh, this lighting sucks, but. So yeah, I've been seeing, been seeing a good amount of growth. Um, I'm somebody who my fat usually all just kind of sits here in my torso. I don't get a lot of fat in my arms or my legs or anything like that. So um, yeah, that's where we're at right now, man. Happy with the progress we've been making. I've been feeling stronger, bro. My body feels sore as hell right now, man. But we're gonna take an active rest day today. I haven't had a day off uh, from the gym and I don't plan to take an actual day off. I'm still gonna go, but it's gonna be an active uh, recovery day. So today I'm gonna be doing uh, probably some stationary bike for like 20 minutes. I'm gonna hop in the sauna for another 20 minutes. Uh, probably hop in the hot tub and in the pool. Um, 
and do some stretching um, and abs. So it's still gonna be like an hour, an hour and a half of a workout, but it's, it's gonna be a, a, an active recovery day. So that's the plan for today. That's enough talking. Let me get to this first meal. All right guys, so this is for those of you that complain and talk about, oh, I don't have time to eat in the morning. I don't have time for breakfast. I'm gonna show you how in less than three minutes, you can have a smoothie that has 800 to 1,000 calories, really however you wanna do it. Um, whatever your goals are, right? So look, I switched to whole milk. This is what I've been drinking lately since I'm doing the bulk. I'll do one cup of whole milk. Right in there, let me see. Boom, all right, one cup of whole milk. I'll do a banana, you can do these frozen. I just, I forgot to put them in the freezer, but I usually prefer to do them frozen. So I got one banana. I'll do a half cup of, half cup of oats. One whole egg. Two scoops of your protein of choice. I'm using this uh, coffee ice cream flavor by Ghost. Um, I only have like a scoop left. So... I'm gonna use a different flavor for my second scoop. Um, damn near out of this one too, but. All right, so that's two scoops of protein. Gonna throw in some ice. All right, and then basically just top it off with water. You can use water to get the consistency that you like. If you don't like it too thick, use a little more water. If you don't care, then, you know, it's up to you. You can throw some honey in there or whatever you want, but for me, that's good. Go ahead and blend. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you real quick how to track um, the macros for this, okay? So you're gonna go to diary, this is on MyFitnessPal. So you have your goals here, right? I got 3,872 calories uh, remaining for the day. So breakfast, I already pretty much have all my foods here um, that I've been eating like the last couple days. So we'll search whole milk. Change that, serving size is one cup. We'll do one serving of one cup, because that's how much we put in, all right? Next, we got a banana. One large banana, good. Uh, we also have half a cup of oats. And then we have two scoops of protein, ghost, whey cotton, one scoop of that, and then one scoop of the Oreo. And then we have one whole egg right here. First light, that's the one, one large egg. Okay, and so now we can go back and see that breakfast was 771 calories. Um, and then clicking up here, you can see it was 70 grams of protein, 80 grams of carbs, 19 grams of fat. So that's a beautiful breakfast right there. All right, so I'm going to sip on that for now. I have a meeting at 9.30 I need to go to uh, for a potential client. Um, and then I should only be there for about an hour, and then I'll be back here. And then we'll make our second meal of the day. So I'll catch y'all in a bit.
All right, guys, meeting went well. Uh, I went to go wash my truck afterwards. It's 11.54 now and I'm starving. So I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna be making here. Got some hash browns, eggs, some chicken. Now these, these are like quick steak chicken. I got these from Winko. Dude, these are incredible. Like it takes like five minutes to cook. It's broken into three pieces. Each piece got like 24, 25 grams of protein. Uh, 21 grams of protein, zero carb, two fat. All right, but I love these because they're super convenient and very easy to make. And it already comes shredded, okay? So we got some pork chorizo, some spinach, some cheese. I'll show you guys what we do here. All right, so here we got 250 grams of hash browns, of southern style hash browns. We got two ounces of pork chorizo. We got uh, one tablespoon of canola oil, and we're just gonna mix it up. Zero calorie nonstick spray. Go ahead and throw that in there. We're gonna add another tablespoon of oil. Mix that up and just let it sit there for like 10 minutes. While that's cooking, we're gonna go ahead and get the chicken started as well. This chicken cooks really fast, like I said, within five minutes. So just gonna cook that separately on here. Once that's done, I'm gonna throw that in there, season it with some salt and pepper, and then you'll see what's next. All right, so I threw in the chicken. Added a little bit of salt and pepper. You don't need a lot of seasoning because the chorizo is already pretty seasoned. So we're gonna add three eggs. I make these little divots to put the egg in so they'll stay in place and they'll cook a little better. Salt and pepper to the eggs. A little bit of parsley. I'll add a handful of spinach. Just throw that in there. Doesn't have to be pretty. So that's 75 grams of cheese. We just cover that up and let it sit. Oh my God, bro. Oh man, I'm excited to eat this right here. Uh, okay, so I tracked the macros to show you guys. It's gonna be up on the screen. All right, so you can see here we got 69 grams of protein, 52 carbs, and 86 grams of fat. Total calories is 1255. Uh, so for the day, we're at 1926. 1,926 calories, and we have 1,900. Oh, wait, hold on. This isn't. I need to add uh, the chicken. Yeah, so the total is 1,255 calories for the lunch. It puts us at 2,026 calories for the day. We have 1,846 calories remaining. Now, this um, this is my highest fat meal of the day, 86 grams. It's a lot of fat, but I like to have my fat earlier on in the day as opposed to later on. Uh, later on, I'll have more carb-dense meals. Okay, so I'm about to go ahead and tear this thing up and go change and uh, get ready for the day, for the rest of the day. So... I'll see you guys in the next meal. All right guys, so it's 6.03 p.m. Uh, this is around the time I usually will get home from work, start getting ready for the gym, that sort of thing. Um, and so normally I'll have a meal right before going to the gym. Well, I'll, I'll try to have my meal as soon as I get home so I have a little bit of time to digest before going to the gym. Now I just looked at my macros and I hit most of my protein for the day and most of my carbs, or most of my fats. I still have a lot of carbs left. So um, we're gonna go kind of light with this pre-workout meal and then just have one final meal when I get back from the gym. So what we're doing right now is just two slices of toast. Um, they're not toasted, they're just regular toast. Sometimes I toast them, sometimes I don't. And I have two servings of this PB Fit peanut butter um, here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just spread this on here. I'm gonna eat this. And this will kind of be my pre-workout meal. So this bread has 13 grams of carbs per slice. So we got 26 grams of carbs here. And uh, for the protein, and we got 16 grams of protein, okay? So just something light, something that'll digest pretty easy. Um, and then I also, I'm gonna have a banana just for a little more carbs. 
and that'll be good for um, for before the gym. That'll give me that'll give it time to digest, and then I'll be able to use those carbs in the gym for energy. So I always recommend having some kind of snack with carbs before the gym uh, so that you can use that as energy to fuel your workout, okay? So that's gonna be meal number three for the day and I'll catch back up with you guys after my last meal. All right guys, so for our last meal here, we have nine ounces of steak two cups of rice, uh, a little bit of spinach, and like a ounce and a half of Mexican cheese. And so after this, we will be at 3,755 calories, uh, which means we have 117 calories left of carbs. So I'm gonna have two of these cookies at the very end as my dessert. Okay, so I put the cookies in. Um, I end up having 3,945 calories, just 73 calories over the goal, which is okay by the way. I'm gonna be actually adjusting this. I'm still not gaining enough weight off of these uh, 3,800 calories, so I'm gonna be bumping it up to 4,100 calories starting tomorrow. Um, but the total macros for the day was 252 grams of protein, 321 grams of carbs, and 183 grams of fat. When you're bulking, it's not as important to hit your macros exactly, you know, like on the dot. The most important thing is making sure you're getting enough protein throughout the day, which ideally you wanna shoot for about one gram per pound of lean body mass, right? Now me, I weigh 225 pounds, so that's a roughly about how much protein I wanna be getting today. I got 250, which is awesome, it's perfect. Uh, for carbs, we got 321, which is a little lower than usual, um, but that's because I had more fats in my diet today. And then uh, for the fats, I got 183 grams, which is pretty high. I usually don't like to go that high on my fats, but you know, um, especially with this last meal, I knew how many carbs I had left. Because I didn't really eat enough carbs early on in the day, I ended up having to have more fat tonight because I just wouldn't have had enough volume or I would have had to have too much volume for me to handle all those carbs, you know, 300 grams of carbs in one meal. So, um, so yeah, that's what I ended up deciding to do. I still hit my calorie goal um, and my protein goal, which is really my main priority when I'm on a bulk. You know, you wanna hit your protein, you wanna hit your calories, your fats and your carbs are a little more interchangeable as long as you're hitting um, your minimal amount of fats that you need throughout the day because fats are an essential macronutrient that your body needs so you have to have enough uh, fats in your diet but you know that's not a problem when you're bulking you know so uh, yeah so that's it man uh, I'm gonna go ahead finish off these meals like I said I'm gonna start making a change tomorrow my macros are moving up to 41 I'm uh, sorry my calories are moving up to 4100 uh, because it's just we're not seeing enough progress um, you know, through the amount of calories we've been eating now. I have a very active lifestyle. You know, I work, I'm working, you know, 10 hours usually, and it's, it's labor, I'm moving all the time, so burning a lot of calories there. Then I'm having these really intense workouts at the gym, um, more calories there. So yeah, I just have a very fast metabolism, and that's why we're, we, we decided to do this blow up, you know, because it's not easy, but, you sometimes you just gotta commit, man, you know? So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this full day of eating. I'm gonna be making more of these. We still got seven weeks left of this bulk. Actually, as of, well, in two days, we have six weeks left. Um, but we're, we're doing well so far. I just ordered a new scale. It's gonna be in here tomorrow. This new one that I got is gonna be able to tell me like my body fat percentage and all that stuff. So I'm excited to share that with you guys to see, you know, what my numbers are looking like right now. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it guys. I appreciate y'all for watching. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this meal and then call it a night. Thank you guys, love y'all. I'll catch y'all in the next one. More heart, more hustle.